This is A Tone with New View Media, and we here with my man from Whip Appeal Entertainment. Tell the people sir, your yes, name, sir, man. Sir. Eric Whipple, co-producer from Whip Appeal Entertainment. Whip Appeal, okay. You know I gotta ask, yeah. where did the name come from from Whip Appeal Entertainment? Come on, man. <laughs> Eric Whipple. And then he got the got the whip and the Look appeal, at him. So what? Yeah, I had to combine them both into you know something that was catchy for the people. Okay, so I heard it through the grapevine that you not only produce movies, but you act too. Tell me about some acting that you've oh, done. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do a little bit of acting. I've done uh, Note to Self okay. uh, with uh, Indy Brown and Tri Destin Films. I've okay. done, um, I was, I've done a, a, about a few shorts uh, in L.A. I've done okay. uh, quite quite a bit of commercials. Okay. Uh, a Doritos commercials for the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, I blew up Dorito? into a Dorito. But uh, <laughs> you see nice. the guy that blows up. That was me. That was the whip that, was, that was the whip appeal. <laughs> and now, and so I, you know, most most established acting, you know, the actors they go into the transition of producing. So I okay. started, I started that as well. So once I saw the Will Smith starting, you know, the, J, the Pickett Smith uh, mm -hmm. Entertainment coming, Jamie Foxx started his production company. I thought, you know, they're onto something. So let me go ahead and start now. So when I get to their level, I'm hyped. For it. What? <laughs> I need to know this, man. So I heard you say you're in LA. So where are you from? I'm actually originally from Tennessee. I'm okay. from a small town in Tennessee called Kingsport, Tennessee. Kingsport, Tennessee. Kingsport, Tennessee. It's got about. 50 thousand people it's the biggest Burbank maybe okay so you were in Kingsport Tennessee and you yeah. woke up one morning and said I want to act so well, tell me about that how did that happen well actually I was a basketball player for a okay time. I was a basketball player in uh, college nice. the University of Tennessee Chattanooga Weapon. yeah <laughs> for an injury into that but okay. I, I love being in front of people I love entertaining people and the, the stands the energy so uh Unfortunately, my, my basketball career ended, so I decided to pretend to be a basketball player and <laughs> act. So that's All what right. I, that transitioned me over to. Uh, I started in, and went to Tampa, Florida after I came back from overseas, All right. and then uh, came to LA and uh, been loving ever since for about three years now. Nice. So you know, I asked the deep questions. Tell me about family. You grew up with a big family, small family. Uh, medium family. I had three three. There's three siblings, so I okay. had two sisters, one older, one younger. I'm the middle one. So, uh oh, you know, he the, got middle child syndrome. Yeah, I'm the neglected. <laughs> one out of all, everybody so <laughs> somehow I ended, that's why I'm in LA you know okay I'm far away as possible because I was neglected so I didn't have to oh, no. look at this no look I love this. my family I love my, my mom my dad they're very inspirational uh, Father's Day was just, just this past week and uh, I, I gave my shout out to my father one more time Don Whipple shout out to you yeah all the love and respect in the world because if it weren't for him if it weren't for you you I wouldn't be the man that I am today okay. and uh um, my sister, she's in Vegas. She was actually in entertainment as well. Nice. She was a professional dancer. Wow, so yeah. you from an entertainment family. All right, so yes, I, I asked everybody, fair. tell me about the swag. Like, where okay. do you get your ideas, how you put it together? Well, this outfit actually came from the lady. Okay. The old lady. The old lady was, uh, she saw the blazer and she picked out the shirt. And so she just, she has a good eye for things. And, um... Uh, know what she's doing so last thing i want to ask you you know i know you just talked about the movie is you know what keeps you grounded uh spiritually i say grounded and uh, my family keeps me grounded nice. so i have to keep faith and uh, that faith has got me through what i've needed to do my hardest time amazing so what do you want to say to the people before you check out i know you got to get to check this out cracking Rain, party. Fizzle coming out look, look at us again next in july at the downtown film festival and we're here and we're here to stay you're going to hear about all this rain Mo Slam, Whip Appeal, Moselle. You're going to hear all about it in the future. We are the future. Find it out, Eric Whipple.